Hey, what's up YouTube? Just doing another short showcase on the pedestal arcade I built. Got LaunchBox installed, just showcasing some of the uh, updated systems and games I have installed. Slowly but surely we're getting there. A lot of fun. Got a chance to test it and play a lot of games on it. Been playing a lot of retro arcade games. Had some updated PC and Steam games imported. Had some friends over to try it out. We had a blast. So it's the Mortal Kombat custom made pedestal arcade. Got a lot more, uh, a lot more to do, but here's some of the progress in the main menu. I think a few of the themes I got to update, but to start work in progress as they say definitely was worth the reward of building it myself No thanks to a lot of the uh, YouTubers and resources that are out there online for people that have done a lot of the legwork. Altimark, Retroactive Arcades, Game Room Solutions for the service and goods they provide. A lot of the supplies I bought at uh, local Home Depot. So there's a lot more to games to add, a lot more to do, but like I said, slowly but surely, there's a lot on here I can definitely play and mess around and have fun with when, uh, when I don't want to set up and I just want to kick back and play some games or have some friends over. It's definitely as we get into the winter months here and I spend some time indoors, I'll uh, definitely be doing some gaming, which I haven't really done a heck of a lot of in the last year or two, a little bit, but not as much as usual. Got the homebrew meme on there, so a lot of hacks. It's all about the meme emulator, though, for the uh, retro. 80s, 90s arcade games. And a lot of the other games are a nice added bonus. They're full libraries for a lot of the game systems.
any comments down below. Feel free to chime in, any feedback, likes, dislikes. Always like the interaction of the, uh, the viewers down below in the chat. Try to reply when I can. I don't think I get to them all, but I try. Game Boy were a lot of fun. Got some of the pinball games on here since I have the flippers and the nudge button. Feels great actually, it's a lot of fun to play the pinballs. It's actually Pinball FX3, so I gotta fix that menu update there, find a theme for that one. So I had this system as a kid. I absolutely loved the Sega CD back in the day. Underrated. have a lot of Windows games installed on the uh, desktop or on the computer as well, but I don't have them all entered into LaunchBox yet. 
This is a long time Hyperspin user. I still use it on my PC, but on the arcade so far, I'm pretty happy with LaunchBox. I mean, to each in their own right, they're both pretty good, but finally made the switch. And like I said, I'll still use Hyperspin. Communities are all in one to me, really. You can always hit me up on the forums as well. I have the same uh, handle as YouTube on the, both forums. Which I might be on the forums a little bit more in the next little bit and might have a lot more questions since I haven't really used either in the last year or two. I've spent some time away from the scene. So I might definitely have some questions and need to be updated on some things. So got the Steam games imported. I think I need a better menu here, but this one will do for now or video for it. Starts off like a dote intro. Which I wasn't a really huge fan of, but I did play League of Legends for a while. <laughs> Classic Super Nintendo, so a lot of people say the GOAT. Again, I was a Sega kid, but I did have a Super Nintendo as well, so you're going to have a toss-up for me. Super Nintendo is really good, though. Is it the GOAT? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Or arcades, I guess, if you grew up in the arcades playing... Uh, coin slot games and such, the originals before they were ported, but it almost brings us full circle back to the uh, arcade menu. Like I said, a lot more to add, a lot more to input into the launch box and into the PC gone into this thing, but we'll get there. For the most part, for me, I'll be playing MAME and a lot of the retro arcade games, so that's which I love. You know, grew up playing in the arcades, so for me, can't beat that. And the feel of the controls and the buttons. So I got the gold leaf buttons again, which I'm really happy with. I was it. There's so much out there, it's hard to choose, but so far, really happy with those buttons. The Sanwa joysticks. Feel amazing. It's the full Mortal Kombat art all around. Guns. Got Shang Tsung on the back, the original Mortal One Combat One and Two marquee. Wicked Shang Tsung uh, art on the back. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll definitely showcase some more updates, videos, gameplay, launch box, hyperspin. Happy New Year, all. Happy Holidays.